This is Moonstalker at that place for walkthroughs. This is the campaign with Ruby Kuzland. And right now she's in the Brazilian forest in the Daily Shelf camp. Been having a problem with crashes, so uh, we just picked up basically around where we left off, and that's where we're going to be starting this video at. Just so we can avoid crashing in, hopefully. Um, Ruby will take over. leliana has been kind of going through the camp, seeing what there is to uh, get. Now we'll speak with Verathone. What are you doing? You've warped the wood completely. Did you leave it out in the rain? No, Master Verathorn. I, uh, I think I just used too much heat. You're not smelting ore like a Durgenlin. This is living wood. It requires patience and delicate hands, not more heat. My actions bring me sorrow, Master Verathorn. And so they should. Truly the art will be lost to us forever at this rate. Throw away your dead wood and start anew, and I shall speak to our guest. Now then, please forgive my distraction, stranger. Is there something that you need? What exactly do you make here? I'm the clan's craftsmaster. It's my responsibility to learn what I can of the ancient elven arts of shaping wood and ore. In truth, we Dalish know little of the art compared to what we once did. And even what we know has taken us many lifetimes to achieve. There is wood that, if treated properly, is as hard as steel, but far lighter. It grows only in this forest, Ironbark. The Keeper has forbidden us from entering the forest to collect the wood. This means I cannot make our finest crafts for years to come. What if I found some Ironbark for you? I would be hesitant to ask it of you, but if you should come across Ironbark, I suppose there would be no harm in gathering some. It is blue and very distinctive. You can only harvest the bark which has fallen off the tree from age. Now, if you find some, bring it to me, and I will craft it for you. Very well. I'll take a look when I'm in the forest. That would please me, so long as our hunters come first. I would like to barter with you. I am no merchant, but let us trade. Perhaps there's something here which will be of value to you. Some crunchies for Pookie. They're the equivalent of health kits for him. Or first aid kits. They heal injuries that he occurs. Silver brooch. That's something Morgan would like. This. Okay. Now let's look at. Don't need demonic ichor. Uh, we need eleven more toxin extract. Just eleven. There we go. Eleven and four is fifteen of them. Then we'll get Elfret. A couple of bundles of ninety-nine each. And one bundle of 99 death roots. Alright. I think that's all we'll need here. Now let's look at the armor. Leliana. Presently she has no Dalish gloves. These are leather. Kind of expensive. But we want to get her a nice outfit. Dalish boots of leather. These are better than what she has. Dalish. <clears throat> Dalish armor cured isn't as good as what she has, so I think that's all she needs. 
Now this is where it's been crashing before is when we try to give these items to Lady Amos, so we're going to save it here. Get our daily bow over here. Save it again. In case it crashes. What do you wish? I'd like to barter with you. I am no merchant, but let us trade. Perhaps there's something here which will be of value to you. Okay, Scout's bow is a short bow. It's very expensive. It's made of you. Uh, daily longbow of you. It also has rapid aim. Why is a scout's bow so wonderful? It costs so much. It's a short bow. I don't understand that. Maybe it's higher demand for it. I don't know. In any case, I'm going to get the daily longbow for Liliana. It's got rapid aim. Should be a nice bow. Let's save it. Presently, she has a an ash longbow. Oh, that's pretty. That's a nice bow. Okay, that should do it. Save it. All right. Wonder what his problem is. He looks depressed. Uh, hello. Hello yourself. Who are you? I am Kamen, a hunter apprentice. Though I wish I could become a real hunter. Why can't you? I shouldn't be talking about this to an outsider. You wouldn't understand. Try me. I might surprise you. I suppose there's no harm in it. It's not like you can help me. Are all these baths such cringing, ineffectual creatures? I've been an apprentice for too long. To become a true hunter, I must bring back the pelt of the beast I killed myself. A boar or a wolf or something. I wanted to hunt in the forest, but we're forbidden to enter because of the attack. But the real problem is Gaina. Ah, girl problems, I see. She's my heart's desire. I have asked for her hand, but she cruelly refuses it. She will not bond with an apprentice, she says, and calls me a child. I am no child. If I was a hunter, I could prove it, but I cannot hunt and... And Gaina will never bond with me. I feel so helpless. I shouldn't have brought it up. Just leave me to my misery. There must be some way to solve your problem. You think I haven't thought about this? There's nothing I can do. Perhaps I could talk to Gaina for you. I suppose you could, but what good would that do? The situation hasn't changed. I can be pretty persuasive. Really? I, I, I'm willing to try anything. It can't hurt. Siranas, oh ma Siranas, I will pray to the goddess of love that you are successful. All right, we're going to see if we can't um, help this elf lad out a bit with his girl problems. Ruby's going to go talk to her. This Gaina. And Darren Atitian, outsider. You're Gaina, correct? Can Kamen mentioned you. You spoke to him? 
What did he say? He said that you refused to give him your hand in marriage. Oh. I don't expect an outsider to understand our ways, but I just can't bond with Cannon. He's been a hunter apprentice for over two years now, and he's yet to slay a proper beast. Each time he's tried, something has gone wrong. Perhaps the creators do not wish us to bond. I cannot bond with an apprentice hunter, can I? If you love him, it doesn't matter what he is, does it? It does matter. I am sorry, but I will not rest my future on the advice of an outsider, no matter how kind. Please, tell Kamen I am sorry. Oops. You spoke to Gaina, but were na unable to change her mind about Kamen. She thinks he is a child and refuses to consider him until he completes his hunt. Okay. Well, we failed that. I need to check my stats. Or Ruby stats. Um, okay, that's why. She only has one coercion. She needed two to pull that off. She's level seven now, so the next time she goes up level, she should have the coercion skill that she needs to do something like that. Okay. We're not going to talk to Cammon yet. Just don't want to break. She, Ruby doesn't want to break his heart with the bad news. Alright, save. What is it? Liliana, I want you to go to rapid fire and Sten, I want you to the indomitable. Okay. Stay here for now. Ruby's gonna scout ahead a bit. She doesn't have any ranger skills yet, so she can't really read tracks of things. But she's got good eyesight, and she can see that wolf charging her. So she'll run from it. And pull out her knives. Do a flurry. Silly wolf. Bow. Okay, there's some werewolves over there. Shoot that what one. in horror as I rip you apart? <laughs> Now's better. Than ha! I'll get it. Backstab. <laughs> Pull out her bow again. Get on this knoll. I'm sorry. Blood or blades and flurry. Am I too quick for you? And dirt in the face. Mouth better than me. And backstab. Got it. How about you? Blood or bow. Woof. This'll be fun. Back step. Come and get it. Oh, Liliani took Ruby's kill. That's just mean. <laughs> oh, it's kind of funny. I'll get on it. Bringing them in one at a time. That's the way to do it. That's what you call strategy. <laughs> I like hearing them howl. 
That first towel when she shoots him. I love how desperate you are. You're pathetic. <laughs> you say that again. And last work. And let's collect some pelts. All right, all right. One anyway. What is that? A blight wolf. Back step. Death Road over here. Now's better than later. There's a group. Oh, a bear. So some dirt in size, so it's Now's better than later. And go to momentum. <laughs> Turn off momentum. I like saving that for when I really need it. Some Drastic's Grace, some kind of flower. Oh, let's bring up the group. We have a welcoming committee ahead. All right, everyone. Put on your party face. Let's go see what these wolf people want. Let's save it here. The watch wolves have spoken truly, my brothers and sisters. The daily send a human of all things to repay us for our attack, to put us in our place. What? Bitter irony. And who are you supposed to be? You speak to Swift Runner. I leave my cursed brothers and sisters. Turn back now. Go back to the Dalish and tell them that you have failed. <sighs> Tell them we will gladly watch them suffer the same curse we have suffered for too long. We will watch them pay. Be gone, beast, or suffer the consequences. We are not afraid of you. Hey, come, brothers and sisters. We fight. Hey. And double up and sweep. Back tack. Take a potion. Another potion. 
Enough. The forest has eyes of its own, and it shall deal with you. You have been warned. All right then. Those werewolves are pretty tough. Had Ruby had to take two potions there. Interesting. All right. What's next? Okay, everyone, remain here for now while Ruby scouts ahead again. You'll get no mercy from me. All right, let's move it, people. This'll be fun. <laughs> A beast. Let's maul it. <laughs> over here. Soldier's body. Something Morgan might be interested in. What? Who, uh, who comes? I am a Grey Warden. A Grey Warden? Here? But, uh, uh, we were sent to find Witherfang, bring his heart, attacked. I... Take the hunter back to the Dalish camp. And Darren Atitian, Grey Warden. Our scouts saw you approaching and tell me you carry the body of one of our hunters with you. Ah, Dagon. He is wounded, but I think he will live. I'm glad we were able to help him. Thank the Maker we returned to the Dalish in time. He must have watched over this man. Ma Siranas, your help is appreciated. Come, Letheline. Let us take Dagon to the Keeper, and quickly. If we are lucky, we may still save him. Party approval. Hmm. Someone in the party is starting to like Ruby a lot. So, it must be Leilani. Let's see if we can uh, talk to her. Something I can help with? I'd like to talk to you about something. Yes? What's on your mind? I heard that in Orlais, minstrels are often spies. Why did you hear this? Someone told me this a long time ago. And you believe everything you hear? <laughs> <laughs> Not all minstrels are spies. No. Most are just singers and storytellers. But some of them are, are what we call bards. What's the difference? Many use the two words, minstrel and bard, interchangeably, but to do so in Orlais would cause misunderstanding. Bards are minstrels and more, spies as you say. Some say there is a bard order, but I don't think this is true. Many bards work alone or in small groups, doing the bidding of a patron who pays for their services. If there is an organization behind it all, no one knows who they are. Patron? What sort of patron? Nobles, mostly. 
In Orlais, there is much rivalry amongst the highborn. They fight over land, influence, and the favor of the empress. But they cannot do this openly because it is impolite, and in public, they wear smiling faces and pretend to be civil. In secret, they plot and scheme to destroy each other. It is a game completely meaningless to anyone but its players. You were a bard, weren't you? I have revealed too much, it seems. But it doesn't matter what I used to be. It is the past. But why were you living as a cloistered sister in rural Ferelden? I found myself in Ferelden and sheltered from bad weather in the Chantry. And when the storm passed, I just did not want to leave. I like to see the maker brought me here. Okay, Leliana approves. And we got her admission out of her. Now, you don't have to worry about her blocking you from finding out about her most, her deepest, most innermost secrets. And you can help her to come to terms with things that haunt her. Crossing the bridge. Let's get our bow out. Feeling easy here. Okay, there's the iron bark. Let's beat feet. Oh my god! Oh my god! Out! Okay, we're going to tell everybody to kill that big ugly son of a gun. But we're going to continue all running. Right, all right. Where are you people? Oh, they went around the long way. They're coming up behind the ogre. That's twice he smacked me now. Getting tired of it. Good poop. Potion poop. What is your command? You're gonna regret this. Get him, Stan. Make a preserve us. That's a big ugly son of a gun. You alright, Liliana? We're coming. We're coming. Now's better than later. Alright, everybody stop. Get your breath. Don't be chasing after anybody. I'll go loot the bodies. I don't mind. Ruby's looting the bodies. Hey, heavy chainmail, steel. Good. Let's continue on. See what else is up ahead. We, Ruby got the iron bark that she was looking for. She really had back campaign no time. She wants to go up a level first. There's I'll get on luck. it. <laughs> <laughs> Just call me the Reaper. <laughs> She needs 230 more points to go up level. Twisted creatures! <laughs> Back attack. I'll get on it. Hmm. It's good to be 
드릴게요. 기프트 투 핸드 아웃. 더 그랜드 오브. 10, go up ahead there and check that out. Sunder Arms. Pookie, go up there and kill. Play Liana, shoot. And Ruby, shoot. I go. tactics. Get aggressive. Huh. I don't understand. Alright. Come on, everyone. Wait here. run pretty fast. Ooh, Sten got taken out. Better than later. We're headed back to camp anyway. I can see you've had enough for one day, Stan. And Ruby's gone up a level, so what the heck? All right, this is level eight. Guess we'll go into coercion this time. This dual weapon ability requires level 9, so we still can't do that. And that requires master combat training. So I have to wait on those. This is nice, coup de gras. But I think I'm going to start developing... Now this requires level 8. Actually, yeah. Let's go back. It requires 18 cunning. We'll go ahead and get that. In fact, we're going to put everything into cunning this time. Bring it up to 19 cunning. Next. Coercion. Next. Hmm. It's level 12. No. I'm torn here. Um, I think I'm going to wait on the cunning. Stick with dexterity for now. Coercion. And stealth. We can go up another level of stealth before we need 18 cunning. So, there's one more turn of that. Then, turn after that, we'll put three points into cunning. Get it up to 19 so we can handle that. 
combat still. I'm gonna work on stealth almost exclusively, I believe, for a while. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so now we have a new sustained ability. And, oops, unlock. Thank you. We'll put this here. Lock. And I think this is a good, good place to save. So this is Moonstalker at that place for walkthroughs. This is Dragonade Origins with Ruby Kuzlin. Catch you on the flip side.